All right, so uh, we're just going to get right to it. I'll go ahead and I'm going to put the video up real quick uh, of someone apparently just have getting called back in the store or whatever because something went down. I don't know, but check it out. Yes, I paid for my stuff. I showed the guy up front, and now for whatever reason, it's okay. It's okay. There she is. She wants to hide. Hey, did you tell them I showed you my receipt? Yeah. Okay, yeah, they're, they're hounding me. They're calling the cops. They got me out there. And I told you to do it, so I'm all for it. So let's do this. There's Melody. No, no, this is... Man, I'm so upset right now. This is why I don't do... This. Okay, so the clip you just saw is some guy getting called back into the store by... Uh, I'm assuming a manager of... Like, from what the uniform looks like, it looks like she's supposed to be working in the pharmacy. Uh, that's just how, what it shows like. There's other, other than that, a manager that actually works in the front end would wear this, pretty much the same thing as everyone else. Cause, and I'm talking about this, and I know this because uh, here it is. My blue uniform with the Walmart logo. You can see that right there. It's inside out. Uh, I got the name tag right here. So, yeah. I know what I'm talking about. And I don't know why she went from pharmacy to checkout to do that. Maybe she's the only manager there for whatever reason. Don't know why, but... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, but... <sighs> but he's... I'm from... I'm assuming he did self-checkout, and he went out, the guy that, at our store, we don't check receipts, because, you know, it's a small store, we watch everyone that pays for their, that sits there and checks themselves out, and all that stuff, we only have self-checkout, so, but, uh, they did, it looks like a super center over there, and, uh, basically, he checked his stuff out, paid for it. And then show the guy with the receipt. Uh, they normally look at the receipt, make sure everything's good, and then let them go about their day. Well, uh, from the looks of it, I guess, uh, he's getting called back in. Uh, first of all, uh, if you're going to call someone back in, make sure they bring their stuff back in. All right, Don't just sit there and just bring them back in. All right. You have to sit there and get them to bring their stuff back in if there's something wrong with the receipt or if uh, they didn't check everything out, which if that was the case, you should have stopped them before they left the store. You know, I get some mistakes happen like that, but it's like, still, if you're going to do that, you still need to like make sure they don't leave the store with that stuff. But, uh... There's not really much, a lot of context on, like, what's going on. I guess they just assume he's stealing or something. Freaking manager from pharmacy or whatever just he doesn't have anything to do with that situation whatsoever. Uh, the guy at the door who's checking receipts clearly said he checked the receipt and he said he told them. guess they didn't listen. So, <sighs> I think this is all just... A whole, like, just complete miscommunication at this point. Because I don't know what else to say. Other than all of this could have been avoided if you had simply listened to the guy that said, Hey, I already checked his, his receipt. Everything looks good. I, I don't see what's the big deal here. Just a bit more communication would have helped clear that thing up without having to sit there and piss off a fucking customer who's going to sit there and record... And then there's going to be people in the comment section dissing Walmart workers, which not all Walmart workers are like that. But I do see the point of people uh, that get dragged in and they paid for everything and they're getting dragged back into the store under the assumption that they didn't for no reason. And yeah, I, I can get that. But that's not the only thing. Alright, so right now we got one of the uh, comments on the video saying uh, it shows their dedication to stopping you or whatever. And then they're 
is this guy right here. And uh, he's saying, right, they are set stupidly sad and on top of everything mentioned about them and more. Now they got us having to ring up our own groceries, etc., doing their cashier's jobs because they don't employ enough cashiers or put them on registers. Anyone else ever notice all the cashiers? They got usually just standing around in front. In the front, just chatting with each other. Again, while we do the cashier's job, with no pay nor discount, uh, should be like five cent a dollar off, kind of like what they have to give us to transfer our cash into Walmart bucks. Walmart gift cards. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, first off, uh, to do Walmart gift cards, you don't have to pay to sit there and uh, do that shit uh, all you have to do is literally literally scan your card swipe it or whatever whatever it's telling you to do put in the amount you want and then just pay it's not it's literally otherwise here's the thing about that it's going to show you on the register if it's charging you for the card Walmart gift cards are not going to charge you Prepaid cards. Prepaid cards are a different story. Prepaid cards is where you pay for the card, you load money on it, and then you can reload the money on that card any at any point in time. As long as there's someone at like customer service or something that's able to do it for you. They don't just sit there and just charge you like five cents or a dollar every single time you get a walmart gift card like no that's no Wh whoever gave you that idea i'm sorry but like it, it, no that that's completely wrong and two uh the cashiers um it really just depends uh because if y'all go to self-checkout it's self-checkout for a reason, all right? I'm going to just say it right now. It is called self-checkout for a reason, all right? Like, do not sit there and go thinking that whenever there's registers on there and it says, clearly just shows self-checkout, and you can clearly see that there's no one working at those registers because it is a register where you check yourself out. Okay. Like, don't go sitting there being like, oh, well, I, I want someone to check me out. It's like, okay, well, either go to a different store or if you're at, like, a super center or something that has, like, cashiers, like, just go to a fucking cashier. I mean, I, mean, I don't see... I don't see the problem. I mean, it's like... I had one guy come into the store uh, at some point... Sitting there... Being like, oh, well... I need you to check me out. And I'm by myself up there, by the way. And I kept telling him, I'm up, I'm by myself. We don't hire cashiers, so I can't just sit there and do it for you. You can easily do it yourself. And he's like, well, y'all should hire cashiers, but... I need you to ring this stuff up for me. Uh... I just told him, no, uh, no, I can't do that. I'm by myself up here. You're going to have to ring it up yourself. All right, this is a self-checkout. He went to the register I told him to go to, and he just kept looking at me stupid, and he kept telling me, hey, you going to check me out, bro. I'm like, you going to check me out before I report you to a manager. It's like, bro. It's like I looked at him like, I'm, I looked at him stupid like, Are you fucking serious right now? I, I done told you I'm by myself up here. I'm not going to sit there and check you out whenever I have an entire, like, other 11 registers to watch. Alright? I'm not going to dedicate all of my time and attention to you when I have 11 other registers that need to be taken care of. Alright? If you can't... If you're just too lazy to sit there and check yourself out, like, 
that's your problem, all right? It's a self-checkout for a reason, all right? Yeah, you don't get paid to sit there and check yourself out. You don't get a discount or freaking whatever. Oh, well, we don't get paid to check ourselves out either, okay? Y'all got to remember, we shop at that fucking store too, even during our time. We don't get, we don't get bonus for checking ourselves out, now do we? We get discount cards, but that only covers, like, certain merchandise. And it doesn't even take that much off. Like, shit, like, I get, like, six cents off of sparkling water if I'm lucky. But, like, that's about it. Like, I'm not getting, like, $50 off on just any fucking item I buy, dude. Like, no. I wish, but no. But yeah, we we get discount cards for being associates. All right, that's that's it, and they don't even cover that much, which is stupid. And two, we check out there as well, and we don't get discounts or freaking bonus extra pay or whatever for checking ourselves out either. All right, you know, aside from the freaking discount card we get as associates. Other than that, no. We, no, we don't get any sort of, like, bonus payment for checking ourselves out. Regardless of how much people try to sit there and try to disagree with that. And then I also had a lady sit there and tell me something similar, trying to tell me, oh, well, we check ourselves out, you know, we, we should get discount, you know, we should get, like, 20, $25 back. And it's like, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, see, if they were to do that, uh, that means they would have to pay their employees that amount as well whenever they check themselves out. And they're not going to do that because if they're, if they're going to do it for customers, they have to do it for everyone that is checking out. All right. You can't just do it for, you know, customers and then associates that sit there and have to check their stuff out. Like they have. It, they have to do the same thing for them, too, right? It goes for everyone. Walmart is not going to do that, all right? Regardless of what y'all sit there and say, oh, Walmart makes so much, yeah. But see, here's the thing. Walmart's uh, money hungry. So guess what? They're not going to just start handing out money and start handing out discounts to every single person, all right? You want discounts? Either sit there and become an associate or try to find some fucking coupons. Alright, other than that, I don't know what to fucking tell you. Alright. Two, um, if you can't check yourself out, then don't go to a store that has only self-checkout. Alright, because there are Walmarts. Like, I work at one that has only self-checkout. That's all we've got. And there's people that sit there and complain and whine and bitch. And it gets on my fucking nerves. And I just get to the point where I want to fucking punch someone in the fucking face. Because if I'm sitting up there by myself and they're demanding that I check them out. They're sitting there telling a fucking manager. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I'm by myself. Like, if you got a fucking problem with it, get the fuck lost. Leave your stuff there. You clearly, it's not important enough to check yourself out and just pay for your shit and leave. All right. It, it, it ain't that important, I guess. So just fucking leave your stuff there and go. Go to another store that has cashiers that where they pay and hire cashiers to do that very exact thing for you. To sit there and scan all your items for you. Alright. Where y'all get this misconception of, Oh, well, you work up here, that means you have to sit there and do what I tell you to do. And if I don't, if I'm feeling too lazy to check myself out, you have to sit there and do it for me. No, I have the right to not do it for you. Why? Because this is a self-checkout. And if you're being a fucking dick, guess what? I'm not doing shit for you. Now, if people are sitting there and genuinely just asking, then fine. I'll help you out. Alright, you don't know what to fucking do? I'll help you out. Maybe teach you a couple things on the way that way you can do it by yourself. The next time you come over here and check stuff out. And then, honestly, there's also the people that physically 
cannot do it. Like, they either broken arms or literally have no arms, uh, crippled, uh, whatever. They're just physically or mentally incapable of doing so. Those are the people we can sit there and help out no problem. All right, just, you know, let us know that you need help checking out. And, you know, for those of you who don't have those incapabilities, just let us know. Just ask nicely and we might do it. As long as we have enough people to cover everything else, it's fine. But don't be a fucking dick about it and just sit there and demand our fucking attention. Alright? Stop being a fucking asshole. Show some fucking respect and you will get respect. It does not go one way. Alright? Like, that shit's just ridiculous when people want to fucking do that and expect to get their way. Like, no. You're just making things worse for yourself. And then it's like, oh, you're getting the management involved. Like, okay, well, the management's going to tell you the same thing. If you're being rude, I have the right to not check you out. Now, it's like, yeah, sure, they're going to pull me to the side and say, uh, if, they're, if they're doing that, you may as well just check them out so that way they can fucking leave and stop being a fucking dick. You know, just sit there and check them out and then hopefully they'll fuck off faster than you can fucking blink. But it's like, it's really just, they're just going to sit there and give us advice to sit there and help you leave faster. That way it doesn't cause a commotion where they have to leave from what they're doing to deal with a whiny ass, bitchy ass fucking customer, alright? Don't think you're getting your way just because a freaking manager decides to sit there and pull us to the side. They're just t sitting there telling us, you know, what to do next time. That way they ain't got to sit there and deal with your fucking whiny ass fucking bitching because... Oh, you're not getting your fucking way. Oh, fucking well. I don't care. Alright, I could care less. <sighs> Anyways, that's enough. Like, for people that want to sit there and think this shit, like, oh, well, ca notice everyone else, they got cashiers just chatting up in the front. Well, they're not cashiers, apparently. Alright? Apparently, they're not cashiers, okay? Okay? Either they're on break, or they're supervisors. Not the type of supervisors that are, like, managers. No, supervisors as in they watch you. Alright, that's what a supervisor is. They watch. Alright, that's what I basically am. I watch people, alright. I watch all the registers. Do what I need to do in case something goes wrong. Or if someone sits there and misscans something, it's my job to fucking know. It's my job to look at them. But no, people want to sit there and get upset because they think, oh, well, you're looking at me like I'm stealing something. No, I'm looking at you because it's my fucking job. Stop fucking bitching about it. That way we can both not have a fucking headache at the end of the day. But yeah, like, this shit, like, no. Like, dude, I, I don't know what you think you're doing posting this type of shit. Like, no. Because, oh, uh, we doing the cashier's job. No, it's a self-checkout. So therefore, no, you're not doing the cashier's job. You're doing your job that you don't get paid for, actually. Which, yeah, it sucks. But, like, it's a self-checkout. You're fully aware of it being a self-checkout. All right? It's a way where you know what you're checking out. And you know you're, you're doing what you need to do to get out. That way... Everyone else doesn't need to sit there and wait in a long-ass fucking line just for a cashier to check them out. All right, self-checkout is just more con more convenient and in some cases a lot faster to get everyone the hell out of the fucking store. All right, so if you got a problem with it, don't go to self-checkout then. Don't go to self-checkout thinking someone's going to check you out. No. Self-checkout is in the name. Self-checkout. You check yourself out. Alright. But that's it. Alright. It's getting late and I am actually getting pretty fucking tired. So, uh, a lot of you fucking... 
retards that keep sitting there doing this shit with trying to diss Walmart workers, saying shit like, oh, well, you don't hire enough ca No. Chances are, the cashiers that are supposed to be working there, either they don't have enough on that day because of the, how the schedules are, or they're just, they got cashiers on break. You know, the ones that are you see in front talking, they're probably on break or something. Stop being a fucking asshole sitting there saying they're not doing their fucking job. It's like, it's on their time. Just leave them the fucking alone. Anyways, I'm done. Alright, so... That's that's all I wanted to freaking talk about. This is going to be a long-ass video, but what the fuck ever. Peace.